Hi. You know, there are five types of MI. Yeah, you heard right. There are five types of MI. Let's discuss them. Type 1, 2, 3, 4, and 5. And 4 is further divided into A, B, and C. Let's go to type 1. So type 1 is MI due to sudden occlusion of the coronary arteries by thrombus, plaque rupture, or the plaque region. That is type 1. Go to type 2. The type 2 is due to increase oxygen demand or decrease supply. Simple is that demand supply mismatch. And that could happen in anemia, hypotension, or in the coronary artery spasm. Usually this type 2 carries a worst prognosis because of the associated comorbidities. Let's go to type 3. Type 3 occurs because of sudden cardiac arrest. There will be the ST changes and LBB, new ST changes, but the death occurs before the cardiac biomarkers are sent or either they appear in the blood. That's type 3. Let's go to type 4. Type 4 is related to, you need to remember, related to the PCI. Now to type 4A is because of the procedural complication during the PCI. That is type 4A. Type 4B is due to the stent thrombosis, usually within the 48 hours. Planted a stent and it becomes thrombosed, usually in less than 48 hours. That's type 4B. Now there is another type that is type 4C. As we said that the type 4 is related to the PCI. So that's also related to the PCI. That is the instant restenosis because of the overgrowth of the tissue in the stent. Because of the overgrowth of the tissue in the stent. That is instant restenosis. That's type C and we can see that one on angiography. Type 4 is related to PCI, type 5 is related to the cabbage. So in the type 5, this MI is associated with the cabbage. So it's a graft occlusion, either during the cabbage or within 48 hours. Now this type 4 and the 5, in type 4, the troponin is raised 5 times, 5 folds, okay, than the normal or the patient, the troponin level the patient was having. And in type 5, it is raised 10 folds. So 5 folds in type 4 and 10 folds in type 5. 